Thank you for coming back and welcome to the integration portion of um, Calculus Made Easy. So, here we are going to be doing the area problem. So we are going to develop a technique that was developed um, when calculus was being developed. And we're going to use this integration technique to determine the areas of things that um, without these techniques are not possible to determine. So first we're going to do some easy areas that have been known for thousands of years. So first we're going to start off with y is equal to 3. And we're trying to find the area from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 4. <coughs> if we remember from geometry, area is equal to like times width. So let's write out these so length is going to be 4 minus 0, and width is going to be 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Next, we're going to do y is equal to x, and we're going to go from x is equal to 0, So as a result, we're going from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 4. <clears throat> and we can remember that the area under a triangle is 1 half base times height. So 1 half base times height, 1 half times the base, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, times height, which is and we can also rewrite this as 1 half base, which is 4 minus 0, times height, which is 4 minus 0. And that gives us 1 half times 4 is 2, times 4 is 8. I want to write one more. So here we're going to define y equals x plus 1. We're going to go from x is equal to negative 1 to x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to go from y is equal to 0 to x is equal to y is equal to 5. So area is equal to 1 half times base, which is 4 minus negative 1, times height, which is 5 minus 0. So 1 half times 5 times 5 is 1 half of 25 is equal to 12.5. Okay, so that is really all that I'm going to be going over in this video. In the next video, we're going to be 
developing these areas in a different manner, and we're going to very briefly introduce um, what integration is and how we can use that to determine the area of functions. So thank you for coming back, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.